Hi everyone, so with lots of training happening at home at the moment, I thought I would pop on and give you my top 10 tips of how to improve your turns. Number one, spotting. It is essential that you are spotting correctly as you are doing your turns. Now, for any of you that haven't done turns before or are new to turning, Spotting is essential to be able to keep your balance, to look where you're going, stop you from getting dizzy as you're turning and achieving those multiple turns. So, for those of you that don't know how to spot, you are going to look at something in front of you. You are then going to turn your head. And when you can't turn your head any longer in that position, you are then gonna whip your head round as fast as you can. That is what we call spotting. Tip number two tilting the head. It is essential that when you are turning that you are keeping your head level and that you're not tipping the head back. I've seen multiple dancers as they're trying to turn, as they're going round, they tip their head back and it's just going to throw everything offline. Sometimes when you're turning you don't even realise that you're doing it. It might be an idea that you film yourself turning and then you can correct yourself. As you're turning, you want to keep your chin level and not be tempted to throw it back. Tip number three, shoulders. When you are turning, try not to lift your shoulders and show any tension because that is going to affect the head being able to move. It's gonna affect your spotting. It's gonna affect your overall posture as you're turning. So what I say to my dancers is push the shoulder blades down because then as the shoulder blades are engaged, it, it means that you're able that you're going to be able to hold onto your arm lines. Tip number four. This follows on from the shoulder blades tip from before. When you are doing your turns, you really need to make sure that your arms are well held. If you've got flying arms all around the place, it's just going to make your turns really, really floppy, really hard to achieve. So as you're turning, think back to your shoulders, think back to your shoulder blades, push the shoulder blades down, lift from underneath the arms as you're turning. It, try not to drop your elbows if you drop your elbows everything goes down a few tips with your arm lines if you are struggling to turn with your arms and you find that you keep losing control over your arms a really really great way is to hold something hold a cushion hold a cuddly toy just so you've got that feeling of pushing and push into the toy or the cushion if you are still finding that your arm lines are affecting you while you're turning, hold your hands, that's another way. When you're holding your hands, try not to dip your elbows because that is gonna really affect what you're trying to achieve. So lift all underneath so that you've got this, you're well held and you've got this pressure. I say pressure through your arm lines. If you need to work on lifting your elbows, place your hands on your shoulders, then you've also got that feeling of physically before you enter a turn you are pushing your shoulder blades down and your elbows are lifted also with your arm lines is your prep when you're going into your turn so you don't want your arms to be flying around before you enter your turn you want to make sure that you are well held. I say pressure through your arm lines and imagine that you're swimming, that you're pushing the water out of the way. That, if you do it flouncy and flyy, you've got, you haven't got any resistance and you need the resistance to be able to hold on to everything. Holding on to your technique and your arm lines, your shoulder blades, entering your turn correctly will help massively. That tip number five your core your core is essential you need to make sure that your core is well held if you've got a, a little bit of a weak core it means that your weight distribution isn't going to be in the right place so you need to make sure that you're pulling up in your core in your tummy muscles so that you can achieve your turn if you have a weak core i suggest that you do some conditioning exercises that you do some strength exercises and it will i promise you it will get better tip number six weight distribution there's so much to think about while we're turning isn't there so making sure that 
the weight distribution before you even take off for your turn is massive. So when you are doing your rise, you want to make sure that your shoulders are over your hips. Again, this is gonna link back to your core. If you find that you are leaning back, it may mean that you need to strengthen the core muscles. Another tip for weight distribution before you start turning is to just take it into a releve. Then you can do your checkpoints, your check mark of where your weight is. Tip number seven. So, tip number seven is we are looking to make sure that the standing leg, we are going straight up. Sometimes what can happen is as we begin to turn, we fall over, so we create a diagonal line as we're turning, and we want to make sure that we're on an axis and we're, on, we're going straight up in that. Axis. If you're falling from the side, a lot of it would be to do with your starting position and it will be to do with your weight distribution so if you're struggling with going sideways what i would suggest is that you go to the bar and you just practice rising and lowering rising and lowering and then i would suggest that you also rather than doing a full turn you work on a half a turn and you build it up that way tip number eight is our working leg now lots of times i see dancers go all wibbly wobbly because of their working leg and what happens is they're thinking so much about turning that they forget about their working leg and where it should be placed a lot of the time I see legs swinging so what happens is you go into your turn and your working leg is flying around here there and everywhere what you want to make sure is that, it's, that your toe is to your knee when you're turning it's really helpful that you think about that working leg still pulling up it's still rising the thigh is still lifting as you're turning because this will make your turn keep going upwards rather than thinking i've done a turn and i've finished so you want to try and think about going up 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 up, up and then staying on that rise on that really strong supporting leg and it helps so your working leg needs to make sure that it gets straight up so your prep will need to come into your supporting leg as soon as it can lots of times i see dancers and their working leg isn't getting there quick enough so once it does get there quick enough that's when you can achieve your turn tip number nine so you can in jazz in anything you can do your turns on a bent supporting leg you can for this purpose, and for those that dance, those dancers who are just starting out on their turns or they want to work on their turn technique, the supporting leg is essential. So you want to make sure that it's pulled up, it's well held. You are keeping your body in alignment as you are working on your supporting leg. A tip if you are having difficulty with your standing leg, it may mean that you need a little bit more strength within that leg. So again, conditioning work will help massively with that. When we are thinking about our supporting leg, we want to think about our supporting foot as well. So we want to make sure it's right upon the rise, as high on the demi point as you can make it. As you are trying to retrieve multiple turns, your heel will, your heel will lower as you're turning we don't want that we want you to have the feeling of really pulling pulling right up and last but not least is number 10 your dismount you and how you come out of your turn we don't want to be falling out of turns you can either step to the side you can rise up and have your feet in parallel you can step forwards out of your turn Another great way is test your balance, have a little play. Think, once you've finished your turn, can you take it into a releve? Because ultimately, these are gonna go into your dance routines. So think, oh, I've done my double turn. Can I rise out of it and then go into a barrel turn? Can I rise out of it and rise and go into a lovely jeté or, um, or a, a step turn? Or am I gonna rise and am I gonna run? So there's lots of different variations. So I would say on your dismount, just remember that you are going to be linking these steps eventually into routines. Those are my top 10 tips. So one thing to take into account is, if you have been practicing your turns and say you have been tilting your head for instance and you just looked at a video and thought, oh, I tilt my head there and I never knew I did that. Just be aware that as you correct that, 
it may mean that your turns are slightly off balance because your your brain has remembered to ha how to do your turn with your head back that you then need to start correcting everything else because as you bring your chin forwards it means that your body isn't going to be in the same alignment so your shoulders will ha your shoulders may need to change your core your arm lines so when you're correcting something don't be disheartened if if the turn doesn't happen like that it it may not because you may just have to correct something else because you've corrected that so it's, it has a knock-on effect essentially now i could talk about turning all day long there are so many elements to turning but they are just the basic few that will help you to be able to assist on your turns those are my top 10 tips of pirouettes see you soon